Hi, grade nines, it's Ms. Thong Garage. Um, today we're gonna do our second video for our summative and we're gonna learn about measurement. We're gonna talk, talk about volume and we're gonna talk about Pythagorean theorem. And before we begin today, I've got a little special message for you from one of my good friends. So I would like you to listen to his message right now. Shalomkum, shabab wa shabat. Ma'akum Mahmoud, ana tilmid al-abla Thong Garage. الاستاذ ثنجراج بس هي قالت لنا تبين نقول لكم يعني نشجعكم ما بقى لكم الا اسبوع ترى ها وتخلصون المدرسه وبعدين ترتاحون ما عندكم ولا شيء فشجعوا نفسكم يلا حتى لو ما بديتوا ترى راح تخلصون انتم بس اسبوع يا جماعه وبعدين تخلصون وترتاحون ويعني عندكم الصيف كله تمام so that was my former student, Moody. He went to Rideau High School. I taught him and his sister. And they just wanted to encourage you to keep working hard um, over the next couple days to get as much math as you can done now so you get ready for grade 10. So we're gonna look at two questions from the summative. We're gonna look at question number three, where you have to find the volume of the cake and the cake is made up of two cylinders, so we need to find the volume of both of the shapes and add them together. That's the first question we'll look at today. And then we'll look at the last question from the summative, where we have to find um, the diagonal length of the door, um, and we need to use Pythagorean theorem to do that. We learned both of these topics when we were at school at Gloucester High School, but maybe you've forgotten them, so I hope this video will, will remind you of what you already know. So first, let's look at the volume question. So this is a cylinder, and the formula for the volume of a cylinder, and remember, volume means how much would fit inside, is V is equal to pi r squared h. And we looked at that formula when we were in class together, but I just wanna remind you of, of a few things. When in math you have letters that are right next to each other, really close to each other, it means we are multiplying those letters. So when I have V is equal to pi R squared H, it really means V is equal to pi times R times R times H. And the reason that there's two R's there is because it was R squared. So pi times R times R times H. Now, what about that pi at the beginning? What does that mean? Well, if you zoom in to the top corner of that picture, you will see this. It's really fuzzy because I zoomed in really closely, but those are the numbers 3.14. Whenever we see the number pi, it means 3.14. So instead of writing pi, we can write down the number 3.14. So I know the equation is volume is equal to pi r squared h. So pi times r times r because of the little squared times h, which means 3.14 times r times r times h. So what we're gonna do right now is we are going to do this question. Um, it's a cylinder. Um, I can see the height is 6.4, that's how tall it is. And the radius, the r is 12. Radius just means how much is half of the circle at the top of the cylinder. So we're gonna use our equation right now and we're gonna do some math together. We're gonna to do this one so that you can do the question from the summative all by yourself. Okay, so I've drawn um, the cylinder on uh, my table and this right here is the height. It's how tall it is. So 6.4, that is the height. The radius, if you're looking for the radius, Radius just means that if you have a circle, it's not all the way across the circle, it's just from the middle across. So it's this part right here. That's what radius or the R means. So in my cylinder, the R would be 12. So this is my R. So I'm gonna write down my formula, which was V is equal to pi R squared H. So pi times r times r times h, you have to do r times r because of the two. And pi, we've learned now, is 3.14. So I need to look for my radius. My radius is my 12. So 3.14 times 12 times 12 times your height is 6.4. And what's awesome is that if you're at home and you don't have a calculator, um, you can just use your computer. So I will show you. I'm logging into my computer. Okay, 
All you need to do is you need to go to the top, the search, and all you need to do is type your math question. So 3.14. To do times on um, your computer, you need to use the little star above the eight. So we're gonna press shift, little star, um, times 12, again, times 12, and then times 6.4. If I press enter, it's like I have a calculator at home. It tells me that my answer is 2,893.8, and this was meters, meters cubed. So inside that cylinder, I can fit 2,893.8 meters cubed. That's the volume. So the question that you're gonna do um, for your summative is almost exactly the same, except for there are two cylinders. There's this cylinder and there is I'm not a very good drawer, please forgive me. There is this cylinder. So I need to find the volume of the first one, pi r squared h. I need to find the volume of the second one, pi r squared h. And since they're on top of each other, it's getting bigger. We need to add the two together. So the last part of this video is gonna be talking about Pythagorean theorem. And we did this at Gloucester High School. We had right angle triangles, that means triangles where you have the letter L in one corner. And when you have a right angle triangle and you wanna find out how big the sides are of that triangle, you need to draw squares on the outside of that triangle. So we're going to do an example together so that I can help you remember Pythagorean theorem so that you are ready to do the question on the summative. Okay, so here is my right angle triangle. I know it's a right angle triangle because there is this symbol in the corner. I also know it's a right angle triangle because this right here looks like the letter L. It looks like the letter L for, for example, a girl called Lima. Okay, so there's a letter L at, in a right angle triangle. So what I wanna do now is I want to, oops, my screen is moving. I want to draw three squares around this right angle triangle. So I've got, this square, I've got this square, and I have this square. Pythagorean theorem tells you, this is the rule that you'll see on the internet, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And what that really means is that if you draw three squares, the two small squares, these two small squares right here, when you add them together, they're the same size as the big square, okay? So if down here, if this was a square, a square means that all the sides are the same. So this would be six and this would be six. And if I was trying to figure out how big this square is, I'd wanna find take the area. And so the area would be length times width or six times six, which gives me, 36, this square is 36. And up here, I would wanna figure out how big this square is as well. So area will be length times width, but since it's a square, if this is eight, this is also eight. So eight times eight equals 64. So Pythagorean theorem tells you that the two small squares, this small square and this small square, when I add them together, it tells you how big this big square is. So 64 plus 36 is equal to 100. So this big square right here is 100. It doesn't mean though that this side is 100. That wouldn't make much, much sense. You can't take a ruler and draw a triangle that goes eight, six, and this side is 100. That wouldn't work. That, this side would be too big. So we need to figure out what this side is right here. So to do that, you need to think about what number times what number would give you 100. Six times six gave you 36. Eight times eight gave you 64. What number times what number is going to give you 100? And some of you know right away, oh, that must be 10, because 10 times 10 is equal to 100. This side must be 10. Now, there's a button you can press on your calculator if you're not sure, um, if you're not sure what the number is. This button you press on your calculator is the square root button. If I take the square root of 100, it gives me 10. I'm gonna show you that button on my calculator. 
Okay, so if you're using your cell phone's calculator, you can find the button um, for a square root. It's the one that's circled in blue. That is the square root button on your calculator, uh, not on your cell phone. If you have a calculator though, it might look like this. So if it is like this on your calculator and you see that square root sign above the X squared, you're gonna have to press the second button or the shift button and then the X squared button to get the square root. So here, this is the question from your summative. You wanna look for where you see the right angle triangle. I see a right angle triangle where we see the 209 and the number across the bottom and the D is equal to question mark. That's the right angle triangle that you would want to draw on your piece of paper and draw the squares on the outside so that you could find the D. So you would draw the right angle triangle on your page. You would draw squares. So you want to figure out how big this square is. You'd have to do 82 times 82. You want to figure out how big this square is. So 209 two times 209. And then you would know that this big square over here would be those two small squares added together. And remember, in order to find this side right here, you're going to have to press the square root button on your calculator. We will have a whole class Google Meet today at 1.30. I hope everyone can be there um, and we will talk about these questions and if you need help, I will help you with them. And then um, I will explain how the rest of the week we're gonna continue watching the YouTube videos and I can continue to help you in the afternoon on Google Meet. Thank you for watching this little YouTube video. Please leave me a little comment so I know that you've watched it and make sure that you go to your email so you can find the link for today's Google Meet.